You're listening to Don't Miss This on Paris Underground Radio. For more great content, including bonus videos of events in and around Paris, please join us on Patreon. Hello, and welcome back to Don't Miss This, your weekly roundup of the best of what's happening in Paris this week. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm your host, Jennifer Garrity, the creator and founder of the Paris Underground Radio Podcast Network. Before we get started, let me ask you a very important question. Do you like cheese? This week, tiny pests transform into mega marvels. Slow galleries offer watercolors in blue and ideas are created and sent to the land of the rising sun. Ski on the Seine, listen to music from fabulous females who are atop the Eiffel Tower, and venture into prehistory. And then, there's the cheese. Oh yes, the cheese. This week's edition of Don't Miss This covers the week of Sunday, November 13th through Saturday, November 19th, 2022. Sometimes, all it takes to see the beauty in this world is a change of perspective. With that in mind, let's make our way over to the Voie d'Illumination at the Jardin des Plantes for Mini-Monde, or Mini-World. Did you make it to last year's exhibit where giant glowing dinosaurs reign supreme? It was magical. So there's a lot to look forward to in this year's show, where living creatures will once again come to life once the sun goes down. In this Festival of Lights, Find yourself reduced to the size of an ant, while normally tiny creepy crawlies will loom large, bright, and colorful. Your stroll begins in the heart of a meadow filled with butterflies, spiders, snails, and shrews, before you discover a pond filled with dragonflies, mosquitoes, frogs, and more. Then, head over to the forest, where wrens, beetles, centipedes, woodlice, and glowworms make their home before you stumble upon a tree trunk more than 25 meters long, leading you toward the menagerie. And then you'll find everyone's favorite insects, the ones that invade our homes. That's right, I'm talking silverfish, jumping spiders, bed bugs, mold, and more. Oh no, but it doesn't end there. Our grand finale is the ecosystem found in and on the human body. Things like dust mites, fleas, lice, bacteria, viruses, and more. Designed in collaboration with the National Museum of Natural History, the illuminated moving sculptures of Minimonde are produced by China Light Festival. They are all lit with low-consumption LED bulbs, and in an effort to reduce energy consumption, the museum has altered the opening hours for 20% energy savings compared to last year. Minimonde en voie d'illumination will be at the Jardin des Plantes, from Monday, November 14th through January 15th. Full price tickets are 17 euros, and more information can be found at jardindesplantes.net. That's J-A-R-D-I-N-D-E-S-P-L-A-N-T-E-S dot net. If the thought of girl power makes you want to sing it from the rooftops, you'll be happy to know that the Festival Les Femmes Sans Mel or the Women Get Involved Festival, is back, beginning on Monday, November 14th. This music festival, featuring exclusively female artists, will host a series of evenings and concerts at places like Pont Ephemère, Petit Bain, Trois Boudy, and Café de la Danse. Among the women performing this year, you'll find the American Julie O'Dell, the Anatolian psych-pop group Durya Yildirim and group Simsek, the Australian indie popper Stella Donnelly, Harpist Ketty Fusco, Claire Days, Marta Del Grande, Black Sidahu, and more. Festival Les Femmes Sans Mel will run from Monday, November 14th through November 26th, and more information, including tickets and the full program, can be found at ifsm.net. When I say the phrase, three hours of unlimited cheese, what runs through your mind? If it sounds like your idea of heaven, You'll be happy to know that the No Diet Club is hosting an all-you-can-eat raclette tour beginning on Tuesday, November 15th. Twice a week, you and nine of your closest cheese-loving friends can indulge in unlimited cheese, a selection of charcuterie, ham with truffles, potatoes, salad, and pickles, and finish off with the, quote, best homemade cannelle in Paris for dessert. The menu can be adapted for vegetarians, although presumably not vegans. 
The Raclette Tour by the No Diet Club will run in the heart of Paris every Tuesday and Sunday from 11.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. from Monday, November 15th through April 2nd, 2023. The cost is between 44 to 55 euros per person. All food is included and the event lasts three hours. For more information, please visit airbnb.fr. Do you know what goes perfectly with raclette? Why, skiing, of course. Although, after consuming all that cheese, you probably don't want to go very far. So, how about skiing on the Seine? That's right. Beginning on Wednesday, November 16th, the first floating ski resort will be set up on the banks of the Seine. Thanks to a simulator and sound and visual animations, you can put yourself in the shoes of a skier or snowboarder and hurtle down the slopes of Meribel and Corchevel. Curling and biathlon activities have also been planned. And, as that will inevitably work up yet another appetite, you can visit Mont Paris, the high-altitude restaurant which opens at noon. At 6 p.m., various gourmet drinking and dining chalets, as well as an oyster bar, will open around the ski resort. Music will begin at 11 p.m., and on Saturday, Ceron himself will perform. Paris fait du ski will be at the Concorde Atlantique on Quai Anatole France from Wednesday, November 16th through Sunday, November 20th. More information can be found at bateauconcordeatlantique.com. That's B-A-T-E-A-U-C-O-N-C-O-R-D-E-A-T-L-A-N-T-I-Q-U-E dot com. For another one-of-a-kind event, Let's head a little further down the Seine to our friend, the Eiffel Tower, where, for the very first time, the first floor will host an immersive chamber music recital to help you discover Tokyo through classical music and to, quote, feel Tokyo through the five senses. For this first edition of Gokan, designed as an immersive experience with projections, 57 meters above the ground, you'll meet Japanese pianist Ryuko Tushida, French cellist Julie Sevilla Fraisseux, and Japanese violinist Aiko Okamura uncover the historic links between France and Japan with romantic and modern French music like Ravel and Debussy, and contemporary Japanese music like Ryuchi Sakamoto. Gokan will take place on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower on Wednesday, November 16th at 6 p.m. Tickets are 55 euros, and more information can be found at gokan.eisnetwork.co. That's G-O-K-A-N dot E-I-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-K dot C-O. Now let's take a quick trip back in time with the new Musée de l'Homme exhibit, L'Art et Préhistoire, or Art and Prehistory. This exhibit showcases masterpieces of prehistoric art from all over the world, retracing, quote, the power of human creativity since the dawn of time. You'll find more than 90 original pieces of prehistoric art, including frescoes from the Lascaux and Chauvet caves, Paleolithic Venuses, decorated tools, and animals sculpted in ivory, rock, and bone. Rounding out this exhibit, you'll find hundreds of digital images of paintings and engravings, as well as pieces inspired by this period by people like Louise Bourgeois, Brassé, and Yves Klein. L'Art et Préhistoire will be at the Musée de l'Homme from Wednesday, November 16th through May 22nd, 2023. And more information can be found at mnhn.fr. Are you looking for a new hobby? Or perhaps looking to indulge a hobby you already love? Well, head over to the Salon Création et Savoir-Faire, or the Creation and Know-How Salon, at the Porte de Versailles. This enormous DIY event is an inexhaustible source of inspiration, thanks to its many exhibitors and workshops. Nearly 200 exhibitors, from major brands to trendsetters to craftspeople, will be present to unveil their new products for crafts like sewing, knitting, decorating, customization, scrapbooking, and more. Learn new skills or improve the ones you already have with more than 400 hours of workshops led by experts. Exhibitors will have a make-and-take offer at their stands, with free events and demonstrations for everyone. And on Thursday, November 17th, 
From 5 p.m. on, you'll find a giant after-work party with a cocktail bar, live music, and free and unique DIY workshops. The Salon Création et Savoir-Faire will be at the Porte de Versailles from Thursday, November 16th through Sunday, November 20th, and full price tickets are 12 euros. More information can be found at création-savoir-faire.com. That's C-R-A-T-I-O-N-S dash S-A-V-O-I-R dash F-A-I-R-E dot com. Why don't we combine the idea of the creation salon with the flavor of Tokyo from the Eiffel Tower? Well, look at that. It's the Salon Idée Japon, or the Japan Ideas Salon, which will bring together more than 40 Franco-Japanese designers, artists, and specialists. Covering more than 300 square meters over two floors, 43 Franco-Japanese specialists will present their accessories, art, jewelry, ceramics, decorative objects, calligraphy, dolls, fabrics, kimonos, and more for you to purchase. You'll also find traditional Japanese dishes like tea, sake, miso, and pastries. As if that weren't enough, you'll find a dozen creative workshops and mini conferences on topics like the magic of koji, sake, miso, and han tamari, obi silk Christmas balls, and the kimikomi technique, furoshiki, the art of packaging, and stencil dyeing and initiation to katazomi, among others. The Salon Idée Japon will be at the Espace Cinco from Thursday, November 17th through Saturday, November 19th, and is free to attend. More information can be found at idejapon.com. That's I-D-E-E-S-J-A-P-O-N dot com. Now let's slow things down a little and head over to the Slow Gallery Art Gallery in the 11th for a new exhibit by watercolorist Jean Mallard called L'Heure Bleue, or The Blue Hour. A fan of Mobius comics and Mizuyaki films, Jean's signature is his bright colors, gradients, and his ability to transform landscapes and the passage of time. L'Heure Bleue was inspired by a road trip in Sicily, with around 40 unpublished watercolors, all made between 2021 and 2022. And at only 24, Jean treats his work like a mental refuge, a safe place where he is allowed to dream. And with their vivid hues and luminous colors, his watercolors often look like mirages or images from fairy tales. L'Heure Bleu will be at the Slow Gallery from Thursday, November 17th through January 24th, 2023, and is free to attend. The vernissage will be on November 17th, and more information can be found at Slow Gallery. Dot com. That's S L O W G A L E R I E dot com. Shall we take a dip into the holiday spirit? It's the Gallery Lafayette's turn to unveil their decorations with a new immersive and interactive experience. This year, we're going to Planète Sapin. Planet Christmas Tree will pay homage to the King of the Forest with the help of illustrator Florent Chavez and the novelist Claire Castillon. Beginning on Thursday, November 17th, you can find a 10-minute immersive sound and light show with characters who will react to your movements on the gallery's fourth floor. Children under 10 are free, but this experience will cost 5 euros for everyone else. Reservations are required. For more information, please visit houseman.gallerylafayette.com. That's H-A-U-S-S-M-A-N-N dot G-A-L-E-R-I-E-S-L-A-F-A-Y-E-T-T-E dot com. Over at Percy Village, things are also taking off. This year's theme, Noël en plein ciel, or Christmas in the Sky where you'll find a sky full of hot air balloons and sparkling clouds. Along the paths, you'll find illuminated trees, sparkling hot air balloons, and twinkling clouds. Never fear, there's also a selfie spot, where you can take your photo surrounded by all that glitz. Although, by the look of it, you'll need someone else to take the photo, thereby negating the selfie status, but I digress. Because... If you share your photo on the socials, you could have the chance to win a hot air balloon ride of your own. 
Noël en plein ciel will be at the Bercy Village from Thursday, November 17th through January 4th, 2023. Are you a book lover who's always looking for the next best book? Or an avid reader who'd love the chance to ask their favorite author a question? Well, then you might like my other podcast, Storytime in Paris, where I interview writers with a French connection, with questions that come from you, the author's fans and followers. Then the authors treat us to a reading from their books. Listen now to Storytime in Paris on parisundergroundradio.com or wherever you listen to podcasts. We'll be right back with Don't Miss This after a word from our sponsors. And now, back to Don't Miss This. Did you know that this Friday, November 18th, will mark the 100th anniversary of the death of Marcel Proust? Well, the SNCF did. For the first time, they, in partnership with France Culture, are organizing five large dictations in Gare Saint-Lazare. Beginning at 1 p.m., on the train level in the terrace area, Rashid Santaki and several surprise guests will read several Proustian texts, one per hour until 5 p.m. Why Saint-Lazare, you ask? Well, the SNCF wanted to pay special tribute to the relationship between Proust and the trains that transported him between Paris, Normandy, and Beauce during the 20th century, when he departed from this very same station. Dictée géante will be at the Gare Saint-Lazare on Friday, November 18th from 1 p.m. until just after 5 p.m. and is free to attend. For more information, please visit la dictegeante.com. That's L A D I C T E E G E A N T E dot com. What's that? It's been too long since we've talked about raclette and you're hungry again? Well, beginning on Friday, November 18th, a free festival dedicated entirely to cheese will come to our fair city. After two long years away, the AOP Festival returns with more than 50 varieties of AOP cheeses, creams, and butters. Yes, of course, you'll find a tasting of a wide variety of products from all over the country, but you can also indulge in workshops, meeting with producers, conferences, and more. The AOP Festival will be at the Belle Villoise from Friday, November 18th through Sunday, November 20th, and is free to attend. For more information, please visit labellevilloise.com. That's L-A-B-E-L-L-E-V-I-L-L-O-I-S-E dot com. Let's finish this week in one of Paris's most festive parks, the Jardin des Tuileries. Beginning on Saturday, November 19th, the Christmas market is back, this year organized by Le Mont Festif. Get a bird's eye view of the City of Light atop the Ferris wheel, or test your mettle on the famous ghost train. Once you've sampled the rides, sate your appetite in the wooden chalets as far as the eye can see, with mulled wine, hot chocolate, waffles, cotton candy, cheese and charcuterie boards, and wine bars. Fill your pockets with Christmas decorations and gift ideas. As if that weren't enough, you can treat yourself to a spin on the magical 1,200 meters squared ice rink. Rumor has it that a certain Père Noël will also be on hand to meet and greet the youngest among us. The Marché de Noël will be at the Jardin des Tuileries from Saturday, November 19th through January 8th and is free to attend. For more information, please visit lemondefestif.com. That's L-E-M-O-N-D-E-F-E-S-T-I-F dot com. Well, that's it for this week's roundup of Don't Miss This. For more great content, including a look behind the scenes, videos from Paris, a book club, and exclusive events, please join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Paris Underground Radio. If you enjoyed this roundup, please tell a friend. If you venture out to any of the events mentioned in this podcast, please let me know and tag Paris Underground Radio on Facebook or Instagram. And if you think you have an event we should know about, please feel free to email me at hello at parasundergroundradio.com with the subject line, don't miss this. I'm your host, Jennifer Garrity. You can find me on all socials at Jenny Foria. That's J-E-N-N-Y-P-H-O-R-I-A. Don't Miss This is produced by me for Paris Underground Radio. For more on Don't Miss This and shows like it, please visit parisundergroundradio.com. Thank you so much for listening and happy exploring.
Don't Miss This is produced by Jennifer Garrity for Paris Underground Radio. For more on this show and shows like it, please go to parisundergroundradio.com.